Hey guys, I am a big fan of Friedel Crafts Anything. Here I'm going to show you how you can add carbons, straight chain carbons, like carbon, 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 to a benzene ring. The answer is Friedel Crafts Acylation. And what you need is a benzene, obviously. You need what's called an acyl chloride, which is basically an aldehyde, but with a chlorine instead of the H on the end and you need aluminum chloride as a catalyst. Here's what happens. The chlorine on the end of the acyl chloride gets attached to here. It's a Lewis acid base reaction and you end up with AlCl4 minus as well as basically the exact same molecule but without the Cl. You end up with a plus charge on the C because it's you know missing the Cl and the electrons that went with it. One thing I want to point out is that that has a resonance structure where the oxygen has three bonds and the positive charge is displaced between the two. But that's not what I really want to get at here. What I want to get at is that now that there's a slight plus charge floating around in this area of the molecule, the bonds in the double bond of the benzene are attracted to it. For example, that double bond might attack. What ends up happening is that you end up with a benzene molecule with, instead of the H that was originally attached to one of those carbons, you end up with the double bonded O and one, two, three of these. Bam! What we have here is actually a ketone where one of the sides is a phenyl or a benzene ring. If you need to, you could always reduce this down into you know, just a straight chain alkene. There are lots of different ways you can reduce ketones, so I'm just going to put the little standard form for any kind of reduction. What you end up with is your benzene. Boop, 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 boop. Done. Double bonded oxygen is now two hydrogens by reduction. And in the end, you've converted a regular old benzene ring into a benzene ring with a tail. Oh yeah. The deal is you've got to have an acid or an acyl chloride to do this. Oh, and what I want to point out is that uh, the H that came off of the benzene when this attached to it actually removes the Cl from the AlCl4 and regenerates the AlCl3. That's why the AlCl3 is a catalyst here. You want to add straight chain carbon chains to, uh, to a benzene ring? Use Friedel-Crafts Acylation. Highly recommended. Best of luck.